good bread, and by good I mean usually handmade, probably made with little to no preservatives, have a very short lifespan. At room temperature, this will probably go stale within a few days and maybe start to mold within a week. But knowing how to enjoy that bread within a short lifespan is part of the enjoyment of the good bread. The sourdough is still warm. It was made just a few hours ago. And the best way to appreciate bread that has just been made like this is just to pick it apart and eat it. If you think you need it, maybe a little bit of butter, maybe a little bit of olive oil, but it doesn't need much more than that. This bread has so much flavor. The crunch is immaculate and the chew is amazing. Mm. By tomorrow, I wouldn't be able to enjoy eating the bread this way. I'm also very spoiled. This bakery makes this bread fresh every day, but some folks might be able to squeeze another day out of it. By the second day, it's perfectly great to slice the bread and enjoy it in the sandwich. Toasting at that point is still optional. By day three through five, the bread will be excellent toasted and will make for a delicious tomato sandwich or whatever sandwich, but for me, it's gonna be a tomato sandwich. As you approach the end of the week, if you still have any bread left, you should move it to the fridge or the freezer. And from there, you may continue to make toast or you can chop the bread up into croutons or use it in bread pudding. The exception is baguettes. Now, when it comes to baguettes, because of their shape, they generally go stale within a day. You can make it in a sandwich tomorrow, but after that, you might as well just leave it out for the week so it becomes rock solid. And then I give them to my dog so they can use them as like chews. It like scrapes the tartar off of their teeth. Mm. And that is how you enjoy the good bread.